This portion of Adam Curry presents parts of Bart part to you Bart by Pepsi. A choice of a new generation. There we go. Welcome to Adam Curry Presents Kyle Bunga Dudes! Welcome to another edition of Adam Curry Presents. We're going to have a very, very surfing good time today, dudes. Yep. And this could be our final Adam Curry. Final Summer Games edition of Adam Curry Presents as summer winds down. Tonight, folks. We got you a car winning moment from 1980, dude, of the Joker's Wild, dude. And without further ado, we're going to give you to that right now, right after these messages. Don't go away. There's a new spirit in America today, a spirit of hope and promise and pride. In the months ahead, this is how we at Pepsi-Cola will be expressing that spirit. It's the smiling, shining feeling. The light of a brand new day. You're the Pepsi generation. You're the spirit of today. Bob Panzarella has won four games. If he wins his next game, he will win a new car, which will bring his total winnings to over $15,000. We'll soon find out as from Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, he's the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. Well, this is one of those cliffhangers. Those of you who are watching on the last program know that our current champion did win four games. He was right in the middle of the fifth game, and if he could win this one, and it was tied when we went, went off the air, he'd win a lot of money. As Jay Stewart told you, over $15,000. Jay, let's get to that game by introducing the champion and the challenger. Right now, Jack, here's our current champion who's winning his total now $9,500. He's our medical student from Humble, Texas. It's Bob Panzarella. <laughs> and his opponent is a school teacher, and she likes to cook and dance. Meet Lynn Raven. <laughs> Lynn and Bob, welcome back. You're in one of those rare games, doesn't happen too frequently, that one player gets to win four games in a row and gets in the fifth, and rarer still, when we have to break off, say, we'll see you on the next program, and the score is tied, which it is right now, 200 to 200. Lynn, are you in perfect control of yourself? I certainly am. I am. I'm all ready to go. How about you, Bob? You bet. I'm ready. 
Well, I never... You two are not the least bit nervous about this, huh? No. Well, you've, already, car. you've already won $9,500, so you don't care, do you, Bob? Uh -huh. I like to drive a new car home. Back to Texas. You'd like to drive a new car to Texas? Yeah, my pickup trucks, you know, it's getting a little, little well, weary. You, well, even if, you, even if you win, the car that we give you only drives three or four blocks. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. And Lynn and Bob, well, let's get right to this game because the vast audience out there watching, I'm sure, are eager to see who will triumph in the game. We were using these categories, and we'll use them again. The Bible, followed by rock groups. Then we have pen names, the fabulous 50s, and Russia. As I said on the last program, play very slowly, very deliberately, very carefully. It, we have the statistics to show that when we get this game, the fifth game, with a car at stake, people have a tendency to rush into their answers and make all kinds of errors. So play carefully. Lynn, it was your turn to go with a score of 200 apiece. Spin and good luck. Come on, Joker, Joker, Joker. Rock group, Bible, and a pair on the Bible. Jack, I'll take the Bible for 100. All right. The New Testament Bible includes a group of four books that are called the Gospels. For another $100, which would bring you to 300 name any one of those four books in the Gospels. Mark. Matthew, Luke, John, and Mark for $100. We go to 300 <laughs> Bob Fanzarella, you've already won $9,500. You've got $200 in this game. $500 wins it. Spin them. Let's see what happens. Let's go, baby. Joker, the Bible, and a triple. Terrific if you know anything about the Bible, Bob. I'm going to take the Bible for 200 You know what you're doing now. Yep. Okay. I've forgotten from my last program whether you answered questions on the Bible. I didn't. No, Lynn's saying no, he didn't, huh? <laughs> I'm confident. But you don't care. You're a religious fellow. Yep. Catholic. <laughs> well, I guess all Catholics are religious, right, Bob? <laughs> we hope. Here we go for $200. This is an important one. would bring you to 400 I point out the bad side of the coin. If you miss this question, then your opponent already has $300. Mm -hmm. This is a $200 question. Yeah. If you miss it and she answers it, you're deprived of that automobile. Mm -hmm. Here is the question for 200. I'll caution the audience, please. In 1947, part of an ancient set of biblical scrolls was discovered. Are you smiling? I haven't even read the question yet. <laughs> scrolls were discovered in a cave near a Palestinian waterway. For $400, name the waterway which gave its name to these sacred scrolls. The Dead Sea. You got it. $400. <laughs> Four now, 300 to 400, and it is your spin, Lynn. Thank you, Jack. Talk to Joker and a triple. <laughs> Where is opera when I needed it? <laughs> um, I'd like to go off the board to the fabulous 50s for $100. Right, okay. This could be a good move for you, or it could prove to be that which has undone you. I we know. will see. First, your question for $100, which will bring you to 400 In 1958, six European nations... You did ask for the 50s. Yes, they did, right. Jack. In 1958, six European nations banded together to form a trade organization called the European Economic Community. For $400 in total, what is the more common two-word name for this organization? The common market. That's correct. You go to four hundred dollars. <laughs> well, Bob, here it is—the magic moment on the Joker's Wild, which I wouldn't wait for. You, if you get a double, mm -hmm. you could win the game or a triple, a single, and we keep on playing. Give it a spin. Go, Joker. Joker, Joker. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even mention that possibility. <laughs> you know what happens now. Pick any category, answer any question, and you have won the game, a car, and over $15,000. Rock groups. <laughs> you sure you don't want the Bible? No, no. Here it is. A question worth over $15,000 if he answers it correctly. Lynn, cross your fingers. After the release 
of the hit albums Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here, this English band became the forerunners of progressive rock. For a grand total of $15,300, name the group. The Who. That is not right. That is not right. Of course, when we have three jokers, Lynn, you don't get a chance to answer it. Would you have known the answer? No, I wouldn't. The answer is Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. I'm sorry. The score remains 400 apiece. We'll find out who wins right after these important words. A moment ago, you saw a very disappointed Bob Panzarella, who was reaching for the victory in his fifth game. Of course, he still has the opportunity to do that in just a moment. Of course, if he does win this fifth game, as I've mentioned, he'll get this lovely gift. It's a brand new car! <laughs> the all-new Buick Skylark, designed for comfort and convenience, with front-wheel drive providing impressive control and traction, furnished by Buick. All right. Here we go right back at it again. It's all tied up as it has been all the way through. I think it was 100, 100, and then 200, 200, and now 400, 400. Now, of course, it all depends on who gets the luckier spin and who answers the questions. You're up first, Lynn. Thank you, Jack. Come on, Joker. Pen name, rock group, and a Joker. Okay, I'll take pen names for 100, Jack. Correct answer. would bring you to $500. That is enough to win the game. But you recall that Bob Panzarella does get one final turn. Here is the question. Of course, if you miss this and he answers it, he's got it all made. What adventuresome author has such bestsellers as The Carpetbaggers, The Betsy, and The Pirate? His real name is Francis Kane. For $500 and a possible victory, what is his better-known pen name? Robbins. Harold Robbins. You have $500. Congratulations. <laughs> and so it's come to this, Bob. A double will tie her. A triple will beat her. If you can get three jokers again like you did a moment ago, that might beat her, although in your case, I'm not sure. <laughs> if three individual categories come up, it's all over, and Lynn is the new champion. This is the spin for Dr. Bob Panzarella. Good luck, Doc. <laughs> Russia, rock group, it's a pair. Oh, I'd like to take his pulse now, the doctor. I need a doctor. You need a doctor right now, yeah. huh? I can't imagine what you're going to take here, but I imagine it's rock groups, Rock right? groups for 100. Rock right. groups it is. All right. I'm getting this one. I hope you do better on this one than you do on the last one. And yeah. if you do, it'll be a tie game and we'll keep going. Okay. If you miss it, Lynn Rabin is the new champion. Here is the question. Again, I question the audience. An English rock group led by flutist Ian Anderson is named after an 18th century agriculturalist. The group's hit albums include Aqualung and Thick as a Brick. For $500 and a tie, name the group. Jethro Tull. Now it's a tie. <laughs> all right, it's all tied up. I don't know why your 500 has disappeared, Lynn, but you absolutely have $500. You both have 500 Now what we do is we keep playing, each of you getting a turn in every round until one of you clearly emerges as the winner. You're up first, Lynn. Give him a spin. Thank you. Come on, Joker. Joker! 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 The luck of the draw, and that's what makes the Joker's Wild a fascinating program, hopefully, for people at home. Now, retribution has set in. You have done to him what he tried to do to you a moment ago. Yes. Pick a category, answer a question, and you win the game. Miss it, and the game goes on. Okay, Jack, um, I'll try pen names for 200. No, you don't, you don't have to oh, try it for anything. No, you just have to answer the question, and the game is over. If you miss it, on we go. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> I'm reading ahead, and I think I could answer this oh. one. <laughs> don't say that. Please, don't. Well, that's not so terrible. I answer a lot of these, you know. <laughs> Like a fool if I knew However, uh, no, I think, you, I think you'll know this. One woman writer gives advice to the Lovelorn and others in her column entitled Dear Abby. For a victory, give me her last name. Van Buren. You win the game. Congratulations. <laughs> Now 
Congratulations, Len. Thank you. You, for the rest of your life, should go on and say to that rock group, the Pink Floyd, you ought to play all their records from now on the rest of your life. You have won $500, and in just a moment, you'll get a chance to come up here and spin against the devil. And here is a young, about-to-be doctor, Bob Panzarella, a very disappointed young man. Nonetheless, Bob, please remember what it is you did accomplish on the program, what very few people are able to do. You won four games. You've won trips and gifts and all manner of lovely things. All told, anything you want to say before you leave our program, you've been a marvelous contestant. Hi, Ray Nubble. Hi, John. Hi, my mother. <laughs> Everybody else I forgot. Thanks well, for your faith. No, no one will forget that you were here and that you won $9,500. Congratulations, Bob Banzarella. Uh, Len Raven, come on over and meet the devil. Well, you know you've been in a game. Oh, for sure. That was some game. For sure. And I really thought when the rock groups came up, I know that he had answered many questions about rock groups. I didn't yeah. think he'd possibly miss it. And he had a choice of two, and he picked the wrong one. Incredible. At any rate, it is now your turn as the champion, and you have an opportunity now to you can get to a $1,000 to win all kinds of prizes. Now, you like to sometimes get away from it all. I sure do. Well, we're going to tell you how you do it. Jay, if you please. Okay, first, Lynn, when you get away, it might be someplace where they speak a foreign language. So to help you out, here's a language translator from Craig, the amazing M100 language translator and information center. It translates English into foreign languages at the touch of a button. It's like traveling with your own interpreter, the M100 language translator from Craig. And next on your trip, so you can use this sound camera and projector. Oh. Thank you. Solid state sound movie camera and projector with microphones. Easy to use camera has zoom lens, automatic exposure. World famous thank you optics and sound. And so you won't miss any phone messages while you're away. It's this automatic telephone answering machine. Record a call ADA. Automatic telephone answering system with remote control that plays back your message from anywhere in the world with a push of a button. And now, Lynn, you're all ready to get away from it all. The question is, where? Lynn... You're going to the exciting city of Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> You'll have seven fun-filled days in Rio de Janeiro. And it's pretty by Club Interworld. And Lynn, this Joker's Wild Getaway Package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,700. Anybody here in the audience to help you? You're going to get the whole audience food for you, eh? All right. Stay away from the devil. Get to 1000 and it's all yours. Okay. First place, you get 25, 50, and 100. $175, you're going to stop or go? I'm going to go. Okay. My mathematics are wrong. I thought you were at 975, but you indeed reached a thousand dollars, and let me give it to you now. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. $900, plus the translator, the camera and projector, the answering machine, and that which you really wanted, the trip to Rio de Janeiro. It's a big game, your first game. You're winning in cash and prizes, $4,200. Thank you. Give you a chance for another game right after these important messages. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lynn Rabin is the champion. She's winning $4,200 and now goes into her second game against this challenger. We welcome now a professional ski patrolman. He likes to go soaring and backpacking. Jack, meet Ray Eldridge. Hello, Ray. How are you? Hi, Jack. Fine. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Where do you do your ski patrolling? In a resort area about 150 miles from Denver called Steamboat. Oh, yeah. Steamboat, Colorado. Well, I've skied in Aspen. I've skied in Sun Valley, but I've never been a steamboat. You should tell, us, tell about the virtues of Steamboat. As for a skier. Well, they call it champagne powder. It's the driest you can find, and it's really a treat to go up there and ski. It really is. A very big mountain. Well, and they I... do it right. And uh, what do you like best about skiing?
skiing for yourself? Well, it keeps you in shape, and uh, you meet a lot of interesting people, and uh, you always get a lot of good powder. First one. All right, well, keep your powder dry, as they say in the <laughs> Army, and let me show you the categories that you can be used to shoot at. They are the mystery category, take it and you'll get double, followed by sex symbols, crossword definitions, big and little, and finally, royalty. Challenger goes first. Ray Eldridge, you're going downhill. Give him a spin. Thank you, Jack. Let's hope not. Crossword definition, royalty, and a joker. Jack, I'll take uh, crossword definitions for 100. All right. One six-letter word beginning with the letter L refers to a shallow pond-like body of water that lies near an ocean. Beginning with the letter L, what is that watery word? Lagoon? Yes, that's right. You have on and out. Second game for you, Lynn Raven. Good luck. Thank you, Jack. Joker! Joker! Big and low. Almost did it again. <laughs> Jack, I'll take Big and Little for 200 In 1939, one popular song performed by Glenn Miller and his orchestra provided him with his first million seller. According to the song's title and its publicist, Howard Richmond, what color is the little jug? Brown. That's correct, and you go to $200. <laughs> Your spin, Ray Eldridge. Come on, Joker. Royalty, hair, and crossword definition. I'll have to go with royalty for 100 please, Jack. In 1948, Queen Juliana was enthroned as the ruler of this northern European country. Name the country. Uh, Can't do it. Hundred dollars if you can tell me, Lynn. Could you repeat it, Jack? In 1948, Queen Juliana was enthroned as the ruler of this northern European country. Name the country. Sweden? Nope. Sorry. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Your spin, Lynn. Thank you. Joker! Joker! Royalty! I want to say you're a good spinner. <laughs> I'll try royalty for 200. After becoming king of Macedonia at the age of 20, one Greek general went on to conquer the great Persian Empire. At the time of his death, his empire stretched from Greece to India. Name this Greek ruler. Uh, Can't do it. $200 for you if you can tell me, Ray. Alexander? Absolutely. Alexander the Great. <laughs> and you have $300. Now it's your fifth. Thank you. Joker, what's my definition? Big and little. I think I'll try big and little for 100, please. In one popular film, Dustin Hoffman betrays an old man who relates his experiences as an adopted Indian and survivor of Custer's Last Stand. Name this 1970 film. Little Big Man? Right, you have $400. Come on, Joker. Royalty, Joker, and crossword definitions. I'll take crossword definitions for 100, Jack. One 11 letter word beginning with the letter H describes a businessman who deals in men's furnishings like hats and gloves. Beginning with the H, what's that old fashioned word? Haberdasher. Yeah, that's right. You have $300. <laughs> okay, right? One more big one. Joker, big and little ass. I think I'll go with Big and Little for 200 please. Correct Jack. answer. Brings you to $600 and a possible victory, but Lynn gets a final turn. An ape-like creature who may or may not be real is known as Sasquatch in Canada. For $600, by what name is he known in the United States? Bigfoot? Yeah, that's right. You have $600. <laughs> Lynn, there's only one way you can win. You have to get three Jokers. Anything other than that, and Ray is the new champion. Give him a spin. Okay, here we go, Jokers. <laughs> Joker, it's all over. Ray Elder, you are the champion. That's right, Ray. You won $600 and a chance to play against the other. As for you, Lynn, you didn't win many games, but the one you won was a Lulu. You won $4,200. Well done. We'll be back right after this. Another episode of Tic Tac Doe. Ray, we're out of time. Congratulations, winning. See you on the next program. Bye bye, everybody. See you next time. Come on, Central Reduce Swanson Pot Pies. Any meat garden vegetables with the right amount of gravy, all in a fuzzy crust, Swanson, the quality pot pie. And Baraxel Waterless or Powdered Hand Cleaners. They take on the dirtiest hands. Stuff the gentle Baraxel cleans all hands in the family. Plus, serve the delicious other potato, golden oil, princess, and silly yams, high in fiber, vitamin A, and vitamin C. And Welch's Sparkling Grape Soda. Refreshing, lively, bubbly, and bouncy because you've never really tasted grape soda before until you've tasted Welch's.
Joker's Wild is a Jack Berry and Dan Enright production. good about yourself. You're drinking Diet Pepsi Cola with just one calorie and that great honest to Pepsi taste. And it shows in the way you look, the way you feel, and in everything you do. Diet Pepsi. One small calorie, one great taste. Yeah, you're drinking one calorie Diet Pepsi. And it shows. Well, this concludes our Adam Curry Presents. I hope he... That was a disappointing loss of Bob Caparari. Lost that car. Isn't that sad, huh? But you know what? Life is always disappointment. Tonight's portion of Ab Curry presents Summer of Games Edition. Brought to you part by Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. It's been a great summer, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Cowbunga, dudes!